तव कथात तप्त जीवन कवीत कलमशापम श्रवणमंगल श्रीमदात भुवि गृणंती भुरीदा जना भुवि गृणंती भुरीदा जना रिगार्डिंग रीडिंग भगवत गीता Mukherjee is asking, and Thakur is re- replying. The studies must go with spiritual practices. One thing is to understand to the depths of its reality. We fail to experience and understand the truth standing behind. because it is enveloped in words that human can understand within time and space we are entering into a realm which is beyond time space and causation and there we see a new world new dimension unrelated to our experiences which all the scriptures say as you go along with the spiritual practices walk with spiritual practices new dimensions open up and make you understand now suppose a fifth standard boy wants to design a software he doesn't understand what is software what are the way things containing how to do it nothing he knows suppose he studies for another few years just a few years entering into college he is fit to understand the secrets and he emerging out of the college he is ready to design a computer the study he went along with those who go do not go with the practicality will find it difficult to not only difficult rather the essence is left out and the external content is stored and we at all times we misinterpret the things so chakur is telling but what will you gain by mere reading and then he continues the various stages we pass through having studied and know the first stage is of that beginner the studies and hears the person studies and hears that is gaining knowledge at intellectual level second is the stress stage of struggling aspirant that is he is trying to penetrate into nature and find out the secrets of nature to transcend the nature and go beyond it is a heftic uh, struggle unimaginable dimensions to transcend the limitations of mind and go beyond that's why no scientist dares to enter into the spiritual world because it needs tremendous self control and a perfectly disciplined life of absolute purity where i don't ca- carry anything of this world in me if anything of this world remains within me not only clinging to body but anything of this world a small desire a small understanding that this would give me some time a 
joy that even that understanding will block the way shri ramakrishna says if you want to put a thread into the eye of a needle a simple a smallest strand extending out will not allow it to go inside the whole thing has to be condensed into one and then it penetrates like that the struggle to integrate my personality into one absolute existence which can penetrate into the nature and know its secrets why am i here who am i what is i am i more made up of why do i lose total awareness of this bodily existence enter into different dimensions every day every day i am separating from body totally unrelated i am entering body i have no connection at all when i sleep i am continuing independent of body what happens how this body i identify and de identify when i sleep what exactly is happening who am i who am i what is this world what is death then if i am separating from body i have an existence when i sleep then in death also i must be continue my existence does life continue after the death yes so these questions come these secrets how the body forms why the body forms swami ji says how of it i leave to the scientists how a seed becomes tree how the tree becomes here i want to know so that part it is invisible i can create a easily any entity of this world even dna can be artificially done but nobody can add life to it it will be just like a dead body all parts are there all things are there but life is not there life has to be implanted from somewhere life cannot be created life has to come from life now robo can create a child but can it they can it introduce life independently without another life i have to take at least a cell of a living body to clone it into an animal i cannot take a matter uh, a dead body dead cell and i cannot create life alone can create life so this part the consciousness which is projecting through the matter is life consciousness projecting through life expressing through matter is life consciousness chaitanya through jada expression of chaitanya through jada expression of consciousness through matter is life we cannot create consciousness that is all pervading substratum on which the whole universe appears and disappears when universe appears it is pervaded like space you create anything in the space space pervades it object doesn't displace the space and occupy no it cannot if space is replace space is removed nothing exists you cannot in zero you cannot create and keep an object space is needed and space pervades it this pervasion is the 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 space is passing in and through the object giving room for the object to exist so this it is like consciousness is like space that pervades life and expresses through life this cannot be created matter can be made to precipitate from the energy already there energy also cannot be created energy can neither be created not destroyed we can convert one into another another form of energy 
but cannot be destroyed. Okay? We can make consciousness manifest through a matter. If the matter is already alive or it has the thread of moving that life stream and these, all these are standardized and patronized. They are patents. Each species is a patent. And if you want to do the same materials, you have to take, I can create a test tube, you know, baby in a test tube, but all the materials I'll take from the living beings. I cannot take sand and cement and make a baby. Living things are necessary because the downloading from a cosmic program cannot be done by matter. Matter is the last material that is going to be formed in which the existence part of it is Chaitanya which is not expressing through the matter. A, a combination which can make the matter in which consciousness can express, life can come in is possible only for nature. Though we are part and parcel of nature, inseparable from her, our intellect and our efforts, uh, we don't get the powers to make the consciousness manifest. After realization, every realized enlightened soul is one with God. But he doesn't get the powers of God to do anything in this world. He cannot destroy the karmas of others. He cannot give mukti to others. How many souls like Ramana Maharshi, Shankaracharya and all came and went? They could not give mukti to anybody. They showed the path to including Buddha. Uh, and avatars don't do because they don't want to go against the nature. So here we see that each one has to pass through the his own. Now, when coming to spiritual life also, I have to transcend the nature and go beyond. I have to reach the transcendental realm, which is unknown to me. Even mind cannot conceive what it is. Intellect cannot discern, understand what it is. Senses can never see. Far off thing. And here we see the scriptures alone and the enlightened soul alone are the proof of existence and the transcendental. And they both save us with the promise, yes, walk on this path, you will reach the transcendental. Of everlasting life where there is no pain, where there is no suffering and life is eternal with everlasting bliss, peace and love absolute. So this transcendence is what Bhagavad Gita expects, all scriptures expect. And how to do it is given there, but the secrets cannot be known unless we go with the spiritual practices. Therefore, Sri Ramakrishna first says, the first person, first step we take is called beginners. And then the next, the struggle begins. He wants, but how to get? A person wants a particular type of fruit, say coconut. He wants coconut tree. He has one coconut as seed. And how to grow it? How much of effort he has to put? Dig the earth, add all the necessities that a plant needs, then plant the seed, water every day. After six months, it germinates, not one or two days. Like paddy, it doesn't germinate on the third day. It takes six months to germinate and then a shoot comes out 
another 10 years it takes to grow to its, its capability of yielding fruit. Then fruit takes another year to mature and become a coconut. Look at the period of time and the efforts the person has to take to make that one coconut seed into hundreds of coconuts given tree. Same thing is sadhana. A perfectly disciplined life of daily routine and uninvolvement in the world, unattached to the world, doing all duty silently and offering it to the Divine as His worship. Go on and on, little by little, inner tamas that is holding oneself to body goes away. Then activities subside, running about in the world subside. As inner calmness a person attains, his behavior, his thought, his words, all change. The whole mental structure inside, externally calm and silent, internally calm and silent. Only bliss is flowing out. He has come out of the rajas. Viraja vipapma bhuyasam. The tamis is conquered during the Brahmacharya period. Later on, as a householder or as a sannyasi, he transcends the rajas part. Grihastha transcends the na rajas part of the nature by doing all activities of life as a worship. The sannyasi renounces all selfish and self-sustaining methods of living, entirely depending upon God and His will. Here the acceptance of the world and transcendence in sannyasa, rejection of the world and transcendence. Both transcend the limits and slowly come to the sattvic level where he radiates, he was internally calm. Now he radiates peace, calmness and joy. Wherever he goes, Thakur used to say, I am in Ayodhya Brahma. He is in Ayodhya Brahma. Living independent of the body, within the body. In living independent of the world, within the world. Now, he doesn't bother much about the externals. Now, he has to shoot up transcending the nature as Sattva. He is Sattva occupied. Sattvika person. Only Sattvika person, how will be? Only blessing and love. Every word carries no contempt, no superiority expression, no inferiority expression, no curses, ill will, complaint, nothing is there. Sattva, sattva is manifesting only through love and blessing. Yes, Rajas is not acting much. So, even entering into service, he becomes God. Through, only through prayer. Mother, help them. Lord, help them. It will be this sattvic state in which he dwells. And he has to transcend the sattva to enter into the reality. So 
these three sattvarijas tamas itself is nature tamas is materialism and materialistic existence and matter rajas is activity running about desiring acquiring acquiring and part enjoying rajas also goes away now sattva has to go and slowly he feels the presence of divine within him he calls upon the lord he calls upon the nature the mother they hold his hands say get up come up come up come up the services all turn towards god he wants to express his love love is the only thing that conquers even sattva because love doesn't belong to nature only entity that accessible to man which makes a person transcend the nature and go beyond is love because it is as much as a mantra mantra is what descends from the transcendental into the reality to take the man beyond wisdom is another nature provided which and intellect which is absolutely purified free from worldliness likes and dislikes it can enter into the transcendental realm speech can transcend the intellect heart and speech these two are again i have to take access to the nature love is my own property which is a belongs to the beyond i need not have access to the nature at all if i hold on to love it is as much as the absolute has descended as a mantra to take the jiva the transcendence has a thread passing through all jivas as love so love turned towards the world in any form it drains down it makes you slip into the world love same now he turns to the divine wherever he sees he wants to love he sees the divine there the vision of the divine in the world and loving is making him evolve loving god independent of the world god is god he is also leading here what is the in between thing which he can express love to god is called worship he what to hold on how to express my love hmm. it is through service i am expressing my love to god through service i am expressing my love to god in man expressing now through this worship is the link between god and me with it is loving to serve and serving to love serving to love becomes the worship serving to love loving to serve is the seed which he uses i want to serve it is expression of love i want to survive i love love is becoming a service service is becoming a love it is like you are climbing the ladder two feet one by one it is climbing one foot on one rung the next rung next feet he is climbing so here 
he transcends sattva part of the nature he has given up tamas he has given the bodily identity he has given rajas he has given the worldly identity now sattva his own identity in the world also goes away he enters the slowly is evolving in the world from the just like a seed fallen in the ground after rain water touches it how the seed germinates and takes root in the earth and shoots out it becomes entirely independent of plant tree its roots are standing in the earth and plant is growing in the open space same way and here you see the nature because it is growing in the external world to prepare its food there is sun to constantly give heat and heat energy light energy for its existence now when the jiva is coming out of the sattva he is emerging out of the universe he is going beyond the universe but still rooted in the universe his life is there his body is there he is emerging out and spreading into the transcendental he is one with god one with the world world is sustaining this state is called jivan mukta and who is sustaining is the sun is sustaining the plant and here god is sustaining god is the sun for the jiva after he transcends the nature om shanti sha shanti hari hi om tat sat shri ram krishna arpanastu